Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a long-awaited three-month keto diet update. But before I get to that, if you are new to my channel, I am on the low-carb keto diet and I share all kinds of keto lifestyle inspiration, recipes, meal ideas, what I eat in a day, grocery hauls, all kinds of things. So subscribe and join the Yummy Inspirations community. And today I have for you my three month keto update. I will leave down below links to my two month and my one month update. And just like with before, today is unscripted, unedited. I am talking to you about my three months of keto. So let's just get into it. So the third month, how did I go? Well, fantastic. I love it. I'm loving this diet more and more and more every day, although I really hate calling it a diet. It's a way of life. Um, a couple of changes that have happened this month. The first one is I no longer count my macros or my calories. I kind of found myself counting less and less and less and kind of gauging. And after a couple of months, I know I'm in a routine. I kind of have the same things for breakfast. It's usually eggs of some description, which I've shared heaps with you in the past. Um, lunch will be salad usually, or um, if I'm out and about, probably a boneless burger. Um, and then dinner will usually be my meat of the day, meat, chicken, or if I've got a meat-free Monday, something like cauliflower mac and cheese. Um, and so that it's, I'm kind of set in my ways. If I need a snack in between, I'll go strawberries and cream or some nuts. Um, I feel quite comfortable doing that because for me, in the past when I've been on diets and I've counted calories or I've counted points or I've counted whatever macros, I find when I'm on diet, then I go off diet. And as soon as I stop counting, the weight comes back on with interest. So I found it more beneficial to really learn. I spent, I had spent my first two months really learning my foods. And the third month I spent just enjoying myself. And so when it comes to weight loss, the first month I lost five kilos, second month two and a half, and this third month another two and a half. So the total is about 10.4 kilos, which I am so happy with. I have noticed a massive difference in myself. My clothing is fitting on me loose. I have been on a couple of shopping trips. I'm trying to sort of cut back on shopping and wait until I'm a bit smaller because my clothes kind of fit me for now and I'm just enjoying my wardrobe. This dress I got recently, a new dress, and I love it and I feel so good in it. And I'm getting smaller and smaller sizes, which is amazing. And I've taken a couple of photos of myself with um, before um, when I first started and kind of now and I when I look at the difference it's it's mind-boggling I feel I believe I lost more than 10.4 kilos yes I have taken measurements those have come down as well although it's yeah it's not a, not as much as I had thought in my waist and in my hips but then I do feel like my legs are more muscular my arms are more muscular um, I'm just feeling so much smaller and when it looks like more than 10 kilos, it feels like more than 10 kilos. And really, what does a number on a scale mean when I feel amazing and when I've had other amazing health benefits? One benefit which I have found as that has progressed from month to month is my period. So sorry guys, uh, <laughs> the 35% of my viewers who are male just like skip the next few minutes because yeah, I'm talking periods. I'm going there because they say that the period, one's period menstrual cycle is a indication of your overall health. And yes, I've had period pain and, you know, on and off and this and that and everything. But um, I found my periods are much lighter. I feel, it just, they feel so different. I feel I've had a lot less pain, taking a lot less Panadol to get through the first couple of days. And they're, yeah, a lot lighter. They just feel healthier. And it's difficult to explain, but I just... It just feels so much more. It's it's, it's like clockwork every four weeks. Yeah, can't believe I'm talking about this. But yeah, your period is a huge part of your health. And um, yeah, okay, moving on from periods, other health benefits, definitely my hair, definitely how I feel every day, definitely my energy. Um, I, I feel amazing. <laughs> I, 
I don't know what more there is to say than that about the health benefits. I haven't felt this good in forever. I am 35 and I feel like I'm in my 20s. I'm keeping up with my little six and eight year old boys. I'm running around with them. I am not tired through the day. I, the odd day when I haven't had a good night's sleep and I have that sort of tired feeling, which has happened from time to time. I, I forget that I lived in this exhausted haze for so long. It's just amazing how I just feel I have energy. I'm, I'm staying up later because I'm not exhausted and crashing at 7 o'clock. I just, I feel so good. So health benefits aside from the weight loss, is, it's amazing. And yes, it is slower. And I shared a video a few weeks ago about not comparing your weight loss to others. So yeah, I'm at 10.4 kilos in three months. For some people that might sound like a lot and for other people they might think you should have lost more in that time. Come on, you're a low carb. I've lost 10 kilos in a month doing something else. Well, you know what? Good for you. Whatever works for you works for you. And I found that low carb way of life works for me. I feel amazing doing it. I really look at it as a marathon, not a sprint. I don't care if it takes me another year if I lose two kilos a month and in a year I get to my goal weight or thereabouts. Does it matter if it took me a year or it took me three months or six months? No. I, I'm happy doing it. I'm the one every day that has to be eating and has to be doing it this way. And if it means I'm not counting calories and I'm not counting my macros and it's a smidge slower, but I can maintain it in the long term. That is a huge thing because Oh, I've been on so many, as I've said, so many diets where you count your calories and as soon as you stop counting your calories or you look forward to going off the diet, it all just comes back on. And that's the thing is I don't look forward to going back and eating normally. I'm not tempted to cheat. I'm quite happy having my strawberries and cream. Um, I'm, I'm not tempted. I, I know these are the holiday, this is the holiday period and everyone is tempted by all kinds of things around and I've been to my fair share of parties and family gatherings in the last few weeks and I'm just not tempted. I'll take my own food. I'll eat before. I won't eat. I'll have conversation. I'll have some veg. I'll have some strawberries. It doesn't face me. What I'm doing, I feel so good. It's not about cheating and thinking, oh, I'll put the weight back on. For me, I don't want to go back to feeling the way that I was feeling, whether I slip into that from eating one wrong food or just spiraling out of control or just, no, I'm happy eating this way and I'm going to just keep doing this. And I thank you all so much for your amazing comments on my channel over the past couple of months as my channel has grown. I am just really appreciate every single comment that gets left and sharing my journey with you, knowing that there's others going through what I'm going through in the slow and steady weight loss. And that's the thing as well, is that I have held onto this weight for the better part of my life. So I'm not anticipating losing it quickly. I am happy. I, I have a kind of routine of I'll lose a kilo or two and then it stays the same and I chill for a few weeks and a lot of it has to do with my cycle but we're not talking periods anymore today. Um, so I'm quite happy doing what I'm doing, coasting along and losing weight at the rate I'm losing it and, and finding new fun recipes that I'm sharing with you and new equipment. I'm looking forward to having a play with that egg cooker I got the other day in the next few days. It's just opened a whole world and if I haven't said it, I'm just saying it again. I love this way of eating. And that's kind of my three month update. Yep, stop counting calories and, and macros. I'm kind of doing what I'm doing lost another two and a half kilos, so we're 10.4 kilos in total, measurements coming down, feeling smaller, feeling lighter, feeling better and all of that. So there you go. Thank you for watching my three month keto diet update. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I really enjoy communicating with you and joining and sharing this community that was being built here. So please take it to the questions, take it to the comments. I look forward to reading your comments and your experience on the keto diet. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and join this lovely Yummy Inspirations community. And make sure that you leave a like, leave a thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you soon. Bye.